my fellow comic collectors. This video is going to be a bit of a life hack. Um, one of the things that I always found is how do you display your slabs? Um, like I, I try to, you know, I put them up on the wall. I, I do a whole bunch of different things, but I always wanted something that was sort of secure that wouldn't like fall down and like then break my slabs. And I always wanted to find something that was affordable and, um, you know, good way to display my slabs. And I, I looked on eBay and they have like these like holders, like the plastic ones, and they're about 10 bucks each. And then I saw other ones, which were kind of like frames and you could put the slab inside it. And those were around 40 bucks <laughs> per slab. It's pretty expensive. And I thought there has to be a better way. So um, I was thinking, hey, what if you use like picture frames, like, you know, like regular uh, like picture stands. And so I went to the dollar store and I found the perfect solution for uh Showing showcasing slabs that was really affordable, and I'm going to show it to you right now. It's this, and it's called a display easel, and it costs a dollar. This is Canadian dollars, so like about a dollar US. You can see that, okay? And it basically is a little stand, and you can take your comic and just put it in the stand and it stays pretty nicely, right? And the good thing about it is it's very adjustable. So you can take, just bend it so you can get the perfect angle for your uh, comic. If you want it to be more laid back, you can, or you can angle it where you just sort of bend it and um, have it display properly. So I'll just take this off and I'll show you how it looks on a couple of comics. So I'll put my comic there. I'm going to show you what it looks like, kind of like that. See how it's like a nice little stand. Yeah, that works. And I'm going to show you what it looks like with the slab. So it works both with slabs and non-slabs. So this is the slab. You can see how it holds it really steady. Yeah. And it looks reasonably nice. It doesn't really take away from the magazine or comic at all. And it, uh, you know, shows it quite well. And it's, as I've said, a buck, <laughs> you know, can't go wrong with that. So I, I literally bought like 40 of them, like, and I've been putting the, my comics along, along any shelving and, um, you know, anywhere I can put like one of these little stands because they, they you know, they stand up pretty well. And, you know, I don't have to worry about the comic popping out. And it's just a nice little light pack. <laughs> so I can show my comics fairly nicely. And I don't have to worry about uh, them falling down. And um, you can sort of adjust it so it can display it the way you like it. And it's, it's a nice little cheap, uh, easy way to display comics. So um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I also might do a video on J channel, which is another method that I found for showcasing a lot of books up on the wall. Um, that seems to really work well. It costs like about 40 bucks and you can maybe show um, for that. You maybe could show like about 30, 40 comics. <laughs> you know, it's like you can, you can do a lot of comics with very little cost uh, with J channel and I, I actually installed it all myself and I'm not a handy guy, but I was able to do it. So uh, if I can do it, pretty much anyone can do it. Um, I might show that in a future video. So that's something to look forward to. But for now, just remember the display easel, as I said, at the dollar store, and it costs about a dollar. <laughs> so not too bad. Okay, so thanks for watching. Bye.